Hi everybody, it's Kate from Valere and today I'm going to be taking you through three hamstring specific strengthening exercises that you can do which are really really helpful for both runners and triathletes. Now hamstrings are an important role in both running and in cycling. In running they help prevent the lower part of the lower leg from overextending when we are running and in triathlon in particular when we're in that TT position when we're across the bike they're on stretch and they're really important to be in that nice strong position when they're in that lengthened position as well. Hamstrings are a biarticular muscle so what I mean by that is they cross two joints which is quite rare for that to happen. It means that they do both hip extension so they open up the hip and they also flex the knee so they bend your knee making them obviously a very helpful muscle but because they are biarticular it means that they are long muscles which means that they are at a higher risk of injury especially when the hip is flexed and that knee is extended. These three exercises are progressive exercises so they increase in difficulty and they're really helpful if you obviously experience any form of hamstring weakness, hamstring cramping, or if you feel like you're at high risk of injuring your hamstrings, or if you've had a hamstring injury before. The biggest risk factor for getting a hamstring injury is actually having had one before. So if you're sitting there thinking, mm, this is me, then these are going to be perfect for you to incorporate in your strength training routine, or even just to do in isolation. So we're going to start off with exercise number one, which is an isometric exercise. This is a really helpful starting point because an isometric exercise means that the muscle is working but it's not lengthening and it's not shortening so this makes it a really good choice even if you currently have a form of hamstring injury this should be a relatively safe one for you with this one we're doing a single leg actually I will include a double leg one in here as well as a regression if you are really starting out but ideally if you can progress to a single leg reverse hip bridge so for this one you're going to lay on your back and you're going to pop your feet on the bench now when I say your feet on the bench I actually just mean your heels and that's one of the biggest cues that you're going to focus on with this one to really target your hamstrings once you're laying on your back and your heels are on the bench you can figure out how much of a knee bend you want now the more that your knee are bent the shorter your hamstrings are so the relatively easier this exercise is going to be to progress this you can obviously go from double leg into single leg but then you can also straighten your knees so that's a way that you can make it harder but to start with I would recommend with your knees relatively bent like you can see that I'm doing here now when you are laying down your heels are on the bench instead of thinking about lifting your glutes up I want you to think about dig your heels into the bench this is one cue that is really going to help you work your hamstrings more than your glutes in this movement and that is the purpose of why we're doing these so you really want to dig your heels into the bench naturally your hips will lift off the ground keep digging your heels into the bench throughout the whole duration of this movement as you can if you really want to improve that hamstring strength I want you to aim for five sets on 30 seconds on 30 seconds off if you're doing the single leg that means you're going to go 30 seconds on one leg 30 seconds on the other leg 30 seconds off doing that five times is actually one of the most ideal loads that you want to do when it comes to isometrics to make a meaningful change of course if that is too hard break it down start off with 10 seconds build up to 15 and build your way up to it because these can be tough but again being isometric they're a really really good starting point so that is exercise number one a double or a single leg reverse bridge with your heels digging into that bench. That's going to take us on to now exercise number two. Now this one is on an isolated leg curl or an isolated hamstring curl machine. You can also set this up with a band if you need to but you're probably not going to get the loads out of this so if you can access an isolated uh, leg curl machine then that's great. You can also make shift of this on a cable machine as well. You set up a bench and you can lay down in your tummy and do a hamstring curl that way. But in this video you'll see me doing it in an isolated hamstring now what you'll pick up on in this one is that I do a really fast double leg hamstring curl there. With this one, I'm starting to introduce the speed of the movement. Hamstrings, because they are that biarticular muscle, they are longer and they are at higher risk of injury when they are in a lengthened position and when they're under a high force or when they're going really, really fast velocity, which is why here you'll see I've started with my knees extended and I'm doing a really powerful pull in. So I'm gonna get the hamstrings used to that really fast movement. So I'm going double leg really fast in. Then I am lifting one leg away from the roller, away from the bottom of that machine, and I'm doing a single leg eccentric control out. With that one, you want to aim for three to five seconds. The weight should feel pretty heavy, and you are slowly controlling that out. That will improve eccentric strength, and we know that that is a really, really effective way to strengthen up our muscles. So you're going a really fast, powerful pull in double leg, remove one leg, slow control out. 
Because this has that eccentric strength component, we're going to keep the repetition range lower. And for this one, you want to aim for three sets of five repetitions at a relatively heavy weight and give yourself two minutes of rest in between each of those sets to make sure that you can keep up the same control out and the same loads for every single one of those sets. Now this last exercise combines virtually all of those movements together. So with this one, you are doing a, sorry, just a normal bridge, a hip bridge, digging your heel into the ground with your other leg into a band, like you can see in this video, and we're doing some powerful, nice, strong glute and hamstring kick downs. With this one, you're getting that nice isometric loading through the leg that's on the ground. You see that's holding our hips up here, and then you're doing a really, really fast, powerful drive down, really working on the speed of that hamstring contraction with this one, whilst it's in a lengthened position. So we're really targeting everything with this movement. But that's what makes it so good for translating into strength and power and injury resilience when it comes into transferring that into power when we are running. With this one, because it's quite tough, I recommend starting off with four sets of 10 seconds on each leg and giving yourself a good 90 seconds of rest in between those. You're aiming for the quality of this movement rather than trying to increase that duration. So I hope that you enjoyed these exercises. Give them a go and these will help improve your hamstring injury resilience and hopefully then in turn also help improve your cycling or your running economy. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give us a like and a subscribe. Jump in the comments, let us know if you enjoyed it and also let us know what else you would like to see. We're here to help you get stronger and help you perform at your best and stay injury free.